We're here at West End Precision in North Devon. They have just invested in their, wait for it, 17th Nakamura. We're going to find out about their machine progression and why when they want a twin spindle lathe, they go for a Nakamura every time. Wow, 17 Nakamuras, Alex. There's been a real progression in technology, so why are you going for that higher level? There's an awful lot of it come down to the reliability on the machines. We, we've got lots of older machines as well, and Nakamura consistently give us good reliability, and the old machines, the maintenance is good, so they've sold themselves in history for future machines going forward now, which is why we've invested recently in all the Nakamura. You certainly invested, haven't <laughs> you? So, um, what do West End Precision specialise in? We are predominantly high volume, so we will typically set a machine and run it for an awful long time. So we do all programming at the console. We don't do any offline programming, but the owners then being that once the machine is set, it just keeps running and running and running. Um, that helps us then with, with operators wise. We can have one operator running a couple of machines, and as long as the machines are running and that the classic engineering of the spindles are turning, you're making money, and these machines give us that ability. And you're on a double shift, aren't you, as well? We are at the moment, just, just to keep up with demand, it is 2022 and the world's gone a bit crazy, so yeah, we are at the moment, <laughs> we can manage to do it. Tell us about that craziness. What successes have you had over recent years? Well, on the well, the customers have previously had all gone a bit quiet a few years ago and since well, the last 18 months it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger so our, our biggest customers probably doubled in size their demand has gone up massively um, and we just have to keep up so hence the level of investment we're putting in at the moment we can't manage on the old equipment we've got so it's now is the time to do it so it's, the opportunities are there so you've got a lot of bread and butter machines here of course you've just ordered well six months ago the wt150 yep but you've also gone for the nty the three turret machine yes why did you go for this machine? Well, we originally gambled, completely gambled on it. It was a, it was a step into the unknown for us. Three turrets is everyone, it's, it's all like dreams of engineers, so we thought we could, we'd try to go. Um, it, the, the price tag made it difficult, but we sort of thought we'd have a try it, and we, we gambled and took it on. We initially took it on to set up five similar jobs of same material, so we could tool the machine for five jobs and then run a batch of each each week so we could keep one machine running five different products which and is and these are high complex jobs yes uh, and that was against the grain of what we typically do because we typically set a machine on high volume and that's it and changeovers is what causes us a problem however in the last six months our volume has gone through the roof so the machine that was bought with all the state-of-the-art technology in it was only ever making one component so it was a kind of wasted resource so there was a little bit of frustration with it um, but then since that time we've had a very complicated job come on that complicated job has now gone onto the three turret machine and to go from a two turret to a three turret we're getting them off about 50 percent faster so the production rate for us on the shop floor is massive and suddenly then you go this is what the ncy3 is all about so i know the guys on the shop floor are already looking at it going can we have another one please because this machine is so good so it's been, <laughs> there's a challenge with the bank manager on that one but it is it is definitely a fantastic machine so it's working really well so when i first come here to to start on a twin spindle was great I think you've got a, a machine you can finish a part off complete without any second operations. And here we are now doing more and more complex works as the years goes by, you know, and faster and faster. Tell me about some of the improvements of this newer technology. So on the newer technology, we've got um, load monitoring, obviously on the new machines. We don't have any older ones, so that will detect any drill breakages and stop the machine, and detect when tips are getting worn. Um, obviously, with the load monitoring will stop the machine and warn you. So you know then that you're not doing any tool damaging because it stops the machine for you to change the inserts. So we done this as a billet job on the older Nakamura because it was too big for the spindle. We put it on a gantry loader machine. We're now being able to put this on the NCY3. So we've reduced the cycle time from 5 minutes 40 back to 3 minutes 35. And we've, we've cut out the second operation. So this now comes off complete, ready to go to the customer. Alex, now I know that ETG are forward ordering their machines and you've got different machines and you've in fact you've had a machine ordered today, delivered yes, today, today, sorry, not ordered. How is that helping you? It's fantastic actually. We've, there's lots of noise about machines not being delivered and you cannot get machines. I, I, don't get me wrong, I don't phone ETG and expect a machine tomorrow, but if I phone them in this machine that's coming today, I think was ordered in about February. They were very honest from the beginning and said it's going to be May. It's now May and the machine has turned up. It's given us the ability to plan. They've done everything they said they were going to do. It is fantastic. So there's absolute confidence in ECG to be able to deliver what they say they're going to do. Um, 
Furthermore, obviously, they recognise the amount of machines we've got here on site, and they've now taken a step forward again and come to me and said, do you think you might want another one? No commitment, but if you put your name to it, we could give you another one at the end of the year if you're still interested. So we're, at the moment, I have committed to another machine, and then we will review it towards the end of quarter three and decide if we're going to take it or not. Do you feel that Nakamura machines are really supporting what you have as needs for your customers? Yeah, I think they seem to invest. The technology does move on. This example, the NTY3 and the triple turret showing what it could do, that was something the dreams were made of years ago and that now it's quite normal. So they are stepping forward. They're not standing still. West End certainly not standing still. So we're, we're growing and driving for the future. And this is we are certainly here doing this together.